We are going to discuss about Snoop Dogg's recent revelation that Diddy is homosexual once again today. There are a lot of things happening with Diddy that you guys are completely unaware of. And without wasting any time, Snoop Dogg began to pour some tea. And trust me when I say that there are a lot of scary stuff going on that will simply make you make you make a face. When certain circumstances are present, Diddy is not the sort of person you want to spend time with. Seeing Cones, better known by his stage name Diddy, is not a little guy by any means, and it is common knowledge that he is responsible for the success or failure of a great deal of talent in the music business. And, of course, a number of things have been brought to our attention on the internet that cause us to speculate about the sort of person Scene Combs really is. And the degree to which he is avoided by other musicians working in the business. Diddy's alarming behavior is one of the things we've learned about. And one of the things we've learned is that when Diddy is drunk, you should maintain your distance. When Diddy is under the influence of alcohol or any other drug, things have a tendency to get rather muddled. Take a look at this video to see how he made No and Fantastic feel really uneasy after they had consumed some booze in the previous scene. In addition to this, it was evident that he did not realize the implication that the way he was behaving was making other people feel uncomfortable. I mean, you saw the expression that Phoebe was given, right? This man was most certainly irate, and not only did he make an already inconvenient situation much worse for everyone else, but he also made a fool out of the representative from Ra, who was in attendance at the presentation, but did his own thing. When he's high, he doesn't mind putting himself in uncomfortable situations, which is a revolting trait. This I gotta pick it up from right here. But despite Diddy's celebrity, the gentleman maintained his composure and acted in a respectful manner. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 bro. Get killing. Go, 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 go. Come tell this story. Bro. And this is not even the first time, nor will it be the final time, that Diddy has behaved in an awkward manner when under the influence of alcohol. Remember when he was in the room with Kevin Hart and some other people, and he said that he and Asher were arguing over frozen cereal? You've been hosting the thing, man, man. You, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. You did it. No, no, no. I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Um, I mean, you do remember that, right? It was clear that Kevin felt uneasy, as shown by the fact that he made every effort to avoid being in the same room with Diddy. Diddy does incredible things at scene comms' parties, but it's quite normal for him to do so because, for one thing, he's powerful enough to get away with almost anything he does. Scene comms' parties aren't really the kind you'd want to attend if you have any idea of morality because there's a lot going on there that isn't suitable for public discussion, if you have any idea of morality at all. And secondly, when he's been drinking too much, he really loses it and lashes out at people. Do you remember when Usher admitted to his fans that he and Diddy got into some pretty crazy behavior when he was a youngster? Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty. What exactly did Diddy want for Asher to take away from what he accomplished in the kitchen? To tell you the truth, it defies all logic. It is common knowledge among musicians that Diddy has a poor attitude and even Snoop Dogg has not been bashful about letting people know about it. The reason for this is because, unlike other musicians, Snoop Dogg does not see Diddy as a male and so does not fear him. They are too terrified to engage in conflict with him. But it is possible that Diddy will not change his nasty attitude on purpose since he is wealthy and powerful and thinks that there is nothing anyone can do to keep him in line because he believes that there is nothing anybody can do to keep him in line. We have reason to suspect that Diddy is not willing to alter his way of life since the influence he has earned has tainted him. As is common knowledge, power tends to corrupt. We have an understanding of this side of him as a result of the things he's done to several artists over the years. One example of this is the time when Jaguar Wright, who is well known in the business for exposing musicians, informed Christopher Williams in his office about what Diddy had done to him. Whatever the fuck I want to do in my building. And she's, I just don't know, he was like, it's power, see? She said that the attorney walked in while he was punching Diddy. After that, Diddy had a face-to-face -face meeting with the attorney, during which he explained everything to her. Folks, Diddy is not prepared to give up his terrible conduct because he lacks the ability to do anything he wants with people and he gets away with it. This is why he is not ready to give up his bad behavior. It's absolutely insane that despite the fact that this individual is responsible for a number of different crimes, he has not yet been locked up for his actions. I mean, there's no doubt that Diddy simply could be above the law. There's just no question about that. 
And to illustrate that point, let me offer you some specific instances. Diddy once got into a fight with Steve Stout and beat him up. After what Diddy did to him, the victim required medical attention and had to be admitted to the hospital because of the severe injuries he sustained. Can you believe it? The fact that Diddy came dangerously close to causing the death of another person led the judge to conclude that it was reasonable to penalize him by ordering him to complete a one-day anger management course. It is apparent that Diddy paid members of the justice system since he was simply allowed to keep a sentence that was well-deserved due to his prominence. I mean, even Diddy's former security could testify that Diddy had the ability and that he could silence anybody he wanted to if he so desired. When I was talking about Puff's effect on radio stations in New York, did you start the discussion by asking me what I meant? The Crittons were not laboring to catch their breath. If Puff had decided against taking it, this statement was made by the former bodyguard in response to a question the interviewer asked him about a woman who wanted to air an interview she took from Tupac about Diddy. He told Dialogue that if Tupac said anything in the interview that Diddy didn't like, it would never come out on the air, even if Tupac could have said something obscene about Puff in that interview. The question was about a woman who wanted to air an interview she took from Tupac about Diddy. Angie Martinez warned Puff that he may damage him, and Puff responded by telling him that they were not allowed to play. They had already decided not to play. Do any of you have any further proof to substantiate the claim that Diddy is able to get away with anything he wants and that he can control the narrative of whatever it is that he chooses to control? It's possible that no one should have such authority, but the reality is that some individuals do, and there aren't that many of them. They are helpless against the opposition's ability to stop them from misusing their authority. To tell you the truth, it's one of those things that makes Diddy nervous, and many musicians working in the business want to steer clear of it any which way they can. There's also an instance in which Wendy Williams was terminated from the radio station where she worked a few years ago due to the fact that he was responsible for the termination. It was said that she had a picture of Diddy and another man in a sexually suggestive pose and that she intends to publish it. According to the will, she positioned him in a potentially embarrassing situation, almost as if it were homosexual porn or something. In addition to that, she intended to put it out. On the other hand, the report was not broadcast since Wendy was terminated from her job at Hot 97, where she previously worked. And the reason why it did take place is because Diddy went to the radio station and informed them that Wendy should be fired because of the evidence that she had against him. He further threatened them by saying that none of his friends or colleagues in the music business would send them any of his songs or music in the future. Therefore, either Wendy or their company would have to take the blow, and Best thought that Wendy would be the one to do so. Now, uh, fellas, have a look at what we have on Diddy. It's some really terrifying ways, so you all best be close by. And of course, <laughs> it doesn't matter what the media says about him or how hard people attempt to expose him. He is still strong, and he manages to avoid getting into trouble for his actions. This is the point in the video where it is going to finish. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on Diddy and his questionable business practices. 